Um, so welcome everybody. This is Priya from Moms Pompier, hashtag the pink life. And we have a special episode today with Casey Jones. And she is an amazing artist that came up with this art concept called Working Mother's Suit. Is that correct? Did I say it right? Correct. Yeah, working mother's <laughs> And you've probably yeah. seen the images already on Facebook of her dressed up in breast milk bags. Um, so I thought it was such a clever idea. Plus, you have other stuff on Instagram that I saw that were just amazing. And you're totally putting yourself out there. I'm like, I have to get this girl. <laughs> I have to get her on YouTube on an interview and talk to you about how you came up with the concept. Um, so please tell us your story and a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm an artist and educator. I was the fourth born of four children, um, raised by a single mother, my um, single parent, which I think is really important of why I created this piece specifically. Um, but I always had a love for the arts. My mother encouraged me to participate in everything. So I did visual arts, music arts, performing arts. Um, and then when it was time to come to college, you have to pick one. Mm -hmm. So I ended up choosing uh, theater performance. And it wasn't until my second year of acting school that I really started to begin to show an interest in what was going on behind the scenes. Um, I saw people working on a backdrop, and I was just enthralled. I thought that was the coolest thing. Uh -huh. I didn't realize you could go that big with visual arts. And so that's when I started to transition into large-scale works of art. Um, started working for theaters. My, hus my now husband and I we moved out to Southern California. Um, and I was 25, working for a couple theaters in, in um, San Diego, when I felt like I wasn't reaching as many people as I wanted to reach. Mm -hmm. So I was creating these amazing sets, these amazing backdrops, but only a certain amount of people could see them. Um, people who had money, people who knew of theater arts. And I just felt like for me as an audience, that was very limiting. Um, and so that's when I went more into the public sector and started doing mural painting. Um, when, mural, when I started doing mural painting, it was more just to beautify spaces. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I had, after the birth of my first daughter, that I really felt like I needed to get my act together. And I wanted to make this my career, making art in the public realm, um, being a social artist. So I went to uh, Maryland Institute College of Art to get my uh, master's degree in community arts. And I graduated in 2014. And ever since, I've been trying to just really develop my voice as an artist and as a social artist. Wow, so do you think being a mom really in, impact, well, I can see directly from looking at your, your images on your Instagram and your social media that obviously being a mom has impacted your, your work. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, after, you, you know, I had a, I got pregnant on birth control and we weren't expecting a that child. To me too, first child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's just, you know, life throws you a curveball, and yeah. I was like, what am I doing with my life? I need to really, if I'm going to be a, set a good example for my daughter, I need, I need to start putting things in place for myself mm -hmm. um, so that I can show her, like, what success is and how to be um, a productive member of society. And so just that initial impact, just having a kid get your act together, um, that impacted my work. And then... As I became a mom and I was in art school, you know, all my colleagues were in their early 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the only mom in the program, and there's such this stigma around mom art. You know, like, there oh, is. you're a mom. Oh. Yeah, there is. That's interesting. <laughs> um, so I'm not only a female artist, but I'm also a mother artist. And I feel like we're not typically encouraged to make that our, the content of our, our work. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're a mom, that's separate. Don't make that the focus because then you'll never be a successful artist in, in galleries because really? nobody wants to be mom art. That's yeah. So why, why do you think people are like that? I just feel like there's there's so much negative stigma around being a mother, having families, having kids. I mean, when I got pregnant, everyone's like, oh, your life is over now. <laughs> you know, and for me, it was the complete opposite. I feel like my life began when I had my first child. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so I did notice that one some of your artwork was you were pregnant and you were in um, a pyramid, correct? Yes. Yeah. So when you put that out, what was the response to that? Um, I think 
I had a lot of positive feedback and I also had a lot of, I think it just made people uncomfortable Mm -hmm. to see me in that, in that situation, in that pyramid, uh, being confined in a space. And, but I personally, I like, I like when I make people uncomfortable because so often they don't realize how uncomfortable we're made to feel. Um, and with that series specifically Mm -hmm. talking about how confined we are with our birthing options, you know, when you're in labor and you're in the hospital, how frantically they're forcing things on you when it might not necessarily be what you want, the birth that you want. Um, and how I just feel like we don't advocate for our voice, for the mother's voice often. And so with that piece, I'm really talking about that just being confined to this business of birth. And other artists, how are, how are the other artists responding to those images? Were they in shock? Um, Were they like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that? Or that's that's not cool. Like, we don't do things like that. How, what was the response like? Um, I think for most people, especially um, my colleagues and people who know of me personally, they're just like, it's about time. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like, this is what we've been waiting for. We're so glad you just pushed yourself to get it out there. And that's half of it. I mean, really just exposing myself in a way that mm-hmm. it makes me uncomfortable, but I also feel like I, I have to – that's when you grow. Yeah. When you push yourself and put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And taking that and risk, which is what you did. Exactly. Yes. Now, was it, in, was it intentional to make a statement through your pieces on motherhood? Especially working mother's suite, like suit, <laughs> suite, working mother's suit. Was it intentional? Because as soon as it came out, I saw tons of people sharing it. Yeah, that was, I was so overwhelmed to see the positive response from mothers just speaking out. Um, and yeah, it was very intentional. Um, you know, I would be pumping in the middle of the er- wee early morning, getting ready to work at 8 a.m., after being up all night nursing, Mm -hmm. and I couldn't help but think of my mother, who was a single parent, and I would think of all the other mothers out there who are single parents, who aren't, don't have the luxury to work in an office space, you know, because not all working moms have the luxury of having a lactating room for nursing, Mm -hmm. Um, so I think of the moms who work at McDonald's, moms who work at gas stations, Yeah. how are we advocating for them? All right, thank you, moms, for checking out this episode of Hashtag The Pink Life and the fabulous Miss Casey Jones. To follow her, check her out at Casey Jones Art on Instagram. And make sure you download the Moms Pump here, Nursing Locator app.